Hey, what's up, y'all? Did y'all have a good Christmas? Hope y'all had a good Christmas. I had a great Christmas. I bought all my family gifts, and, you know, it was the first time I was able to do that. Um, and, um, you know, it, it meant a lot, you know. Christmas is not all about gifts, obviously. It's about the Lord, my God. Jesus, won't he do it? But, um, yeah, it was, I had a good Christmas. Hope you guys was as well. You guys, let me know in the comments how y'all's Christmas was. How about that? All right. So, um... We start the episode off with Demetria. We, you know, we met Demetria last season. She came on with Claudia. Demetria's a singer, um, songwriter, and she was also on the Tyler Perry show, um, House of Pain, I believe. Um, but anyway, she has a song that she did with Candy, and the label wants um, them to release that song. It's her single. She's on this new label or whatever. I, I didn't catch what label she's on. But anyway, she's on the label, and she's dipping it and doing it. And um, yeah. So it's Candy, Don Juan, Demetria, and her man, Bob, who's also her manager, I believe. And um, they sit around talking and and all that good stuff. And and Demetria um, did something that was very funny. She um, They played a, um, a, a rewind moment of last season when Demetria asked Candy that, and when Demetria said to Candy that, I want to work with you, and she gave a little candy impression. She was just like, well, I don't know about working with friends and all that stuff. It was really cute and funny. Um, but anyway, Don Juan is there, of course. That's sour puss. And um, he has a lot of reservations about um, candy working because she's in her second trimester, my guy. And, um, you know, he's just like, you know, it's a high-risk pregnancy because she's older and this and that. Candy was like, J-Lo's done it. Halle Berry, they both had kids while they were older than me. So I can do it. I did it with Riley. So Don Juan was just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And Bob, he was just like, yeah, you know, I think his name is Bob, y'all. He was just like, um, yeah, well, you know, we've seen it done before, but the women were a lot younger. And Don Juan was like, that's what I'm saying. And whew, every time Don Juan is on the screen, I just breathe. My God. All right. Um, so moving on from that, Bam, Bam or Bun. Um, anyway, Apollo's friend who we met last season who, you know, took him out of basically out of Phaedra's face when that whole thing was going down, when Apollo was getting ready to go to jail and he came to the house at dinner food. Um, so Bun, he's coming over and Phaedra's kind of excited to see him. She was like, you know, none of Apollo other friends have bothered to come by or say anything. So he comes by bearing gifts um, for the kids, for Dylan and Aiden. And I believe he gives them shoes and maybe like a shirt or sweat top or something. Sweatshirt. And um, so they start to talk. And um, he's basically trying to say that, you know, Apollo's saying is he's been trying to reach you. He's been trying to get in touch with the kids and this and that. And Phaedra's just like, yeah, I'm sure he's been saying a whole bunch of stuff, but he's has plenty of time to think. And, you know, I, I kind of noticed a little connection between Bun and Phaedra. Did y'all notice that as well? Like, she was very, you know, it was like, hmm, is this something going is, is Bun trying to move in while Apollo's in jail and, and get a little... um taste of Phaedra's pies like I don't know but I did notice like a little connection or whatever but Phaedra's just like you know he needs to suffer the consequences and this and that oh shut up Phaedra Kenya and Marlo they're working out uh, Marlo's a horrible workout partner I can imagine Marlo's probably one of those women who's always been you know small and smaller side of life so they never really work out they just do a little something here and there but uh, shopping is their working out and um Kenya's you know she's really, you know, strict on, on working out and, and being healthy and all that. It's one of the things that she stands for. Um, and so they working out and doing their thing and, you know, it's just talking about boys or whatever. Can you say that she would love to meet a, a, a man or a horse or a hy hybrid of the two. So basically she want, uh, um, somebody with a huge penis guys. So this guy comes up, he says, Hey to Kenya. Um, Kenya knows him from, um, you know, just being around the gym, I guess. He's a personal trainer. He's been hitting on Kenya, but she really don't pay him any attention. Marlo suggests that he should um, date. He should take Kenya out on a date. And she was just like, all right, all right. She was just like, you know, he has a lot of things that um, a few attributes about him that I don't really, you know, like or, or care for. And plus, he's very young. And, and you know, she was just like, I don't really want to, um, you know, kind of be bothered with him or whatever. Um 
But Kenya, I think you should take what you should get at this point, sis. You haven't had the best track record and you really need some penis in your life. Maybe it'll calm you down. But I doubt it. Because at the end of the day, you still got to get them checks, right? All right. So um, we get to the video shoot and um, they, they're filming the video, Candy and Demetria for Demetria's new single, whatever it's called. I'll, tr I'll try to find it and put it in the um, comment section if y'all want to check the videos out, the video out. But, um, you know, Don Juan, he's being a very over overprotective and all that good stuff. We'll get back to that in a minute. Um, Cynthia and Peter, they go on this little date. You know, they're trying to um, date each other again. They're getting back together officially. Um, she bragging on my man drew, drove five hours to come and see me. Yeah, he could have been drove five hours. Charlotte is not that damn far from Atlanta. Like, he just didn't want to. Have a girl. So anyway, you know, they have this artist there. He actually draws them. He did a good job and, and yawn, yawn, snooze, snooze. Um, Kenya goes on a date with the guy. They kind of play basketball. She's not really used to that. I don't think most people are used to doing something very physical on their first date. Um, but then again, maybe they are. I don't know. It just depends on the person. Um, but they play basketball. He kind of let her win or whatever. Um, Kenya enjoyed it. And, you know, they, um, basically since she won, he would be trying a little harder to get at her. Um, and it's funny when they sat down on the bench after they got finished playing, Kenya was trying to talk to him and all he was trying to do was look at her ass. It was just like, all right, I kind of see what Kenya was coming from. He's kind of one of, the, one of those dudes. It's just, you know, he acts interested and he may be interested, but probably won't see, get the cake. It's over with, you know, but I could be wrong, but you know, he's a good looking guy and. You know, I wish Kenya the best of luck on her um, relationship because, my God, help me, Jesus. Help her. All right. Um, Phaedra and Aiden. Oh, Phaedra is Aiden's first day of kindergarten. So cute. Um, so they're in the car, and he says that he's nervous about school because she's not going to be there with him. And um, Phaedra's just like, oh, well, I'll just be picking you up back and forth. And, you know, I'm always going to be here for you, baby. And um she was just like you know you're not a little baby anymore and he was like i'll always be your baby and she starts to cry and they pray and have a little moment it's very sweet um yeah i can imagine being a parent and you know having your child um you know go off and and this is their first step to becoming you know their actual own little person and growing up is very sweet oh 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 um <laughs> So Portia talks to Oliver, the Latin boppy that she met in Miami when she was shaking her ass. And, you know, she's talking to him through webcam. And they're talking and she's trying to adjust the thing and trying to get it right and showing her titties and all. And, of course, he enjoys that. She mentioned that um, she kind of wanted to get a little bit, um, wanted to get all that alcohol out of her system and, and, and whatever else. And she was just like, you know what? I've just been working on my fitness a little bit, been to the gym, lost seven pounds. And he was just like, as long as you didn't lose any weight in that butt area. And she was just like, hey, you like my butt? Hey. Of course he does. He's a man, Portia. Um, she asked, has he, ever, has he ever dated any black girls? And he was just like, he's dated a few black girls, but he's never had any kind of relationship with them. Um, she also decides to ask, is he looking for just, you know, fun? Or is he looking, or are you looking for, you know, just, um, you know, a relationship and you know thanks to bravo of course all of a sudden the camera started messing up and she was just like oh well i'll just talk to you later Porsche, you know what that man want from you stop playing you offered him ass it all in his face what else he want you think he want a relationship no child please um let's see um tootie she's getting all dressed up everybody's getting ready to go to the um whole video shoot and all that stuff um and uh, we have Cynthia and Peter. They arrive first, and they're all black. Um, they look nice. Uh, Tootie, Kim Fields, she show up in these little shorts. And um, this little sparkly top, you know, dipping it and doing it. Okay, Kim. You know, she's excited to be out to have a life again. So we're, we're just going to let her have our moment for this episode. Um. All right, so then Kenya comes in. Kenya was snatched to the gods. Kenya in that red dress, what? Looking like an old thought. Kenya was doing it. And, you know, regardless of whatever, 
however people feel about Kenya, they cannot say that she is not a beautiful woman. She is beautiful. All those girls are really, yeah, good, good, good skin. Well, I don't know about Kenya. Well, anyway, um, so um, they have the videotaping and all that. Um, did y'all see um, Amaya Scott in the background? Hey, Amaya, yes, Scott, transgender beauty, love her. Um, and so they're talking and talking and talking and talking. We get to the actual video. It, it actually works this time, my God. Because y'all know Demetria videos are a little questionable. But it actually worked this time, my God. There was no rewind. There was no static in the in the in, on the screen. It was perfect. Um, the video actually looks nice. Um, Candy didn't really look pregnant. I love all the colors in the video. Um, I'll let you know about the song. I didn't really get. I heard it, but it was just like a little snippet moment. Um, anyway, so the girls split up into groups like the Power Rangers, like they always do. And um, it's Shamia, Portia, and Phaedra, and they're talking. And Phaedra brings up the fact that um, she believes that Todd has an issue with her over the whole workout tape. Y'all know the whole moment. Um, it, it it was never released, the workout tape. But, you know, they signed with Todd's company. And apparently, uh, Phaedra paid Todd some of the money, but not all of the money. And Portia asked, well, do you think that's a strain in you and Candy's relationship? She, she was just like, no, Candy and I are good. There's no issue with that at all. Um, and, and, you know, you know, they just start to talk and bring up certain stuff. All of a sudden, Don Juan switches his ass over there. He was just like, you know, the whole um, thing about friends and all that and the money issue, that's not the only issue I heard. And he was just like, I just heard y'all talking about my people and this and that. And, you know, it kind of goes left there. And Portia was just like, you're just really thirsty right now. Like, you're being very abrasive. It's very negative. Phaedra said nothing th throughout the whole argument. She chugged the deuces. It's just like, look, I got two kids to raise. And he's just like, I want you to get home. I do. And um, Portia was just like, Don Juan, get you some water and bye. He was just like, find that man that just left. You know, he just came over there for some mess. Um... One side of me is like, okay, good for Don Juan for actually, for, you know, addressing the issue and, I don't know, even though it had nothing to do with him, at least he stood up for his friend, so I can give him that, um, but on the other time, on the other, on another hand, he's, he is, you know, trying to get attention and, and all that stuff, so I don't know, y'all tell me what y'all thought about that, or Don Juan jumping into that conversation, I thought it was very rude, though, and inappropriate, like, you know, just that's not your place still like you if anything you should just took down notes what they what the hell they was talking about wrote down exactly what you heard not what you thought you heard or you just getting a snippet you should have been over there for the whole thing wrote it down and then talk to candy about it but don't you know talk to them about it in in front of them because it's just going to create drama and mess or whatever but me personally i probably wouldn't have just say anything at all i would just been like okay whatever um, but you know, we shall see, but definitely, of course, this is going to cause a little strain in Candy's relationship with Portia and, um, Phaedra, especially when it, when it, um, has kind of gotten back a little bit like it used to, not really, but a little bit, you know, they're working on it, but it's just a step backwards or whatever. So I don't know. We shall see. I think they're all full of shit personally, but, um, anyway, I miss the chilla. Mr. Chillock on Google Plus. Follow me at It's Kings World on Twitter. Chase King was here on Facebook. At It's Kings World on Instagram. And also, I just got a Snapchat, y'all. So y'all can see what I be doing. Nothing much, but whatever. Um, it's um, at It's Kings World 89 on Snapchat. And my name on there, my username on there is um, Chase Darlings. After the one and only Mariah Carey Darlings. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Um... And um, see you guys later next week, I guess. Mm, bye.